So here we are picking Munya behind the Moon Temple in Cusco. Today we're going to talk about the UFO stories. So since I've been in Peru four years, I've seen UFOs four times and three times it was very clear. So the first time was the most unclear and I drank San Pedro during a full moon eclipse July 4th of 2020. So I was with some friends and we were in the Nazca desert and we cooked San Pedro in two campsites and so I was with two guys and once we put the San Pedro in bottles I had I think a 600 milliliter bottle and I drank almost the whole thing before I left the campsite and so we were heading to this energetic point called Orcona or Arcona I hear it with different pronunciations and we get to this point in the middle of the night like 10 p.m. and the full moon eclipses on strawberry moon they called it of July 4th 2020 maybe you guys remember and so we're in the mountain and I could feel like everything was me and uh, the guys some of the guys from the other camp had already drank San Pedro so they got there and they were feeling the effects too but the two guys I was with they didn't want to drink until they got to the point and so once they get to the point they they start drinking and I asked them I had like 50 milliliters or 100 milliliters left in my bottle and I said like should I drink this and just thinking about drinking it was like I drank it <laughs> it was like just literally it was so crazy the effects of thinking about drinking the San Pedro was like I drank it a million times and it created like a loop where I drank it and drank it and drank it and drank it and had like the effects amplified a million times and uh, as I was watching other people drink it it was like it was like I was drinking it myself and so I didn't have to drink anymore in the end and uh, after a couple of minutes I go we were on this mountain peak and so I go to the other side of the mountain because two of the guys weren't with us and I go see these two guys and I'm like, hey guys, what's up? And they're like, oh, bro, they're into some cocaine. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, you guys are in some serious shit here. And they said, yeah, like we didn't drink San Pedro because we're not ready because you can't be doing like hard drugs and drinking San Pedro. And I said, yeah, that sucks, guys, but whatever. And then I started talking to them about where's the line between artificial and natural, really? Because it's all a spectrum. And as I'm talking to them about this, they're like, we're staring at each other, right? So I'm looking in one direction, they're looking in the other direction. And all of a sudden, I see this green light fall from the sky, like, Phew. and I tell them, I'm like, guys, do you bring a, a flashlight, like a green flashlight or something? They're like, no. I'm like, are you sure no one from your camp has one? They're like, no, nah, I don't think so. So I walk back like 50 meters to the other, the other five guys that were there. And I asked them if they if they saw the light fall from the sky and they say that they didn't they didn't see it but they felt it and that uh, one of the guys said that he saw it and that it like came directly to him and like hit him in the forehead like it was like his brother like communicating with him and I was like crazy and so that that was about it it felt like there was like other lights in the sky but it was I was unsure because there was mountains all around whether they were in the mountains or they were above in the sky and so that was the first time which was the most uncertain of all of them and the second time would have been i'm gonna say a year later something like that so i was in abankai in a place where there's 30 lakes maybe more than 30 lakes it's it's very high it's like 4,000, 4,500 meters and so i was there with a friend who lives in abankai and another German friend and we had eaten some mushrooms we had eaten a bit of mushrooms not not a lot like a microdose and and I wasn't even feeling them that strong but I was having a great time walking it was the first time in in a long time that I'd eaten mushrooms and so we get to where we're gonna camp and it's just getting dark and uh, the German guy wasn't feeling well his name was Richard Richard wasn't feeling well so he goes in the tent and starts to rest and me and my other friend Octavio we climb up to the the highest point there and there was this lookout where you can see like nine lakes 
So we look at these nine lakes from this point. We're like, this is crazy. And then we go back down to the tent and we're like relaxing, getting ready to like cook and and yeah, go to sleep. And then all of a sudden, you, there's a few stars in the sky already. And three of the stars start moving like they're birds, like they're condors. So they start like circling, three of them. The other one stayed fixed. There was maybe like 10 stars in the sky, but three of them started moving very clearly. And the they were putting off the same light as like a star. And then all of a sudden, we tell Richard, Richard, come out of the tent. There's UFOs in the sky. What the fuck? And Richard starts to come out of the tent. And as soon as he's like on his way out of the tent, these things start going in different directions and they're zigzagging. And people have told me that this motion is called Merkaba. Merkaba. The Merkaba motion of the of the energetic vortex that these UFOs or spaceships beings from other dimensions create to move through the sky to move through dimensions and so the three start going away in their Merkaba zigzag spiral and Richard isn't able to see them and me and Octavio are just like what the fuck is this and so then it might have been it was recent it was a couple months ago we're in a mountain on the other side of the valley of Abankai called Ampai, which is a snow mountain, has a snow peak, water comes from there. And we had, we were with a friend from Mexico who told us like straight up front that he wanted to see UFOs, that asking us if we saw UFOs and we told him the story from about two years ago, that was two years ago at that time, about the, these ones that move like birds and then went away when we called our friend out, when we called our friend out. And uh, in the end, we go climbing with our friend from Mexico, and we get to this high point the first day. We find Herkimer diamonds. Crazy. And then we come down, and we get back to this cave we're staying in. And as we're getting, as we got to the cave, it's just getting dark again. It seems to always happen when it's just getting dark. The mountain that was in front of us, in front of the cave, which might have been like 200 meters away, 300 meters away from the peak of the mountain, this zigzag light comes out. And our friend from Mexico, name was Franco. Franco had this headlamp, and we and he looks at the UFO and we're like, "Bro, turn off the lamp! Like you're gonna you're gonna scare it away." And I think our fear, our concern of that like scared like made it shut itself off and it also reflected Franco so Franco goes and turns off his light but his light is one of these where you press the button and it gets brighter and then it shuts off and so he po like points it straight at the UFO it's super bright and then it shuts and then he shuts off his light and the UFO does the same it's like shh and shuts off and then we kept looking in the sky and maybe maybe like a two or three minutes later we could see it higher up in the clouds but very faint it wasn't turning on its light bright like before and so the next day with the, the same crew, me, Octavio, and Franco, we go up to another point even higher, which is 5,300 meters. So one of the highest points in this snow mountain on Pai. And we get down from the mountain and we go and get water. There's water that comes out of the ground, like straight filtered through the mountain. It comes out this hole and forms a river that fills this big lake. And we're there filling up our water and it's just getting dark we're a bit later than the night before and we're right in front of this mountain where the ufo came out the night before and i finished filling up my water and i'm just looking at the mountain and it comes right out of the peak like lava like a volcano like erupting but with this zigzag white light and so i tell him like it reflected us last night when he made the light bright and shut it off it went bright and shut off and so we all take our flashlights and we pulse it like three or four times and the ufo does the same thing it's like phew, and it goes right over our heads like it's gonna beam us up and we're just like holy shit and we had to like turn right around and we watched this thing for over a minute go straight over the valley of Abankai into the other mountain where we saw the UFOs move like birds two years ago and so that was the most intense UFO experience I've had on this trip I will never forget this you guys let me know if you've had other crazy UFO experiences like I have.